Hey guys, my name is Narisa Agas. I'm one of the luckiest Reva Scholar of Reva Seas. So I just finished my training with them. And for me, my experience was really amazing. It's because the training was really in-depth and almost every materials are given to you. So you just have only to um, take your part during the training. So the coach is very uh, hands-on as well as her VAs are really helpful. So you don't have to worry with that. And if you are asking or if you are hesitant, will it be worth it to invest with their buses? Yes, definitely. Very, very um, worth it. So hopefully we can uh, see you uh, as part of the Revacist family and let us thrive together. Bye! Today, we are going to talk about cold calling and appointment setting course day one. Our objectives for this course is first and foremost, determine what real estate cold calling is, what is cold calling, and again, what's appointment setting, and the different CRMs. The difference in cold calling and appointment setting, what are the four pillars of cold calling and appointment setting? Number one, you have to know their motivation. Second, you have to know the condition of the property. You have to know their asking price, time frame. How soon are they going to sell? What are the different types of leads? So, we have three types of leads. We have hot leads, we have warm leads, and we have cold leads. Different scripts used in cold calling and appointment setting. In Revasis, we will be providing you with like, four. So you'll be provided with four scripts. What are the tips to become a successful cold caller and appointment setter? You have to practice the script. Number two, you have to know your market. You have to be confident. You have to build connections. Hello, Casey. Uh, this is Sweet. And I know this is a little out of the blue, but I was just calling about a property I believe you own at 123 Main Street. Have you ever thought about selling your home? Great. Um, I just have a few questions about the property. Uh, it will just take five minutes. Um, is that okay with you? Hi, Issa. My name is Ken, and I'm with a Texas-based company called Revis's Capital Properties. And we work with several commercial real estate brokers and investors that are interested in buying apartments and other commercial properties. Hi, Marie. How are you doing? My name is Tess. I am from Revisist Outsourcing Incorporated and I just wanted to reach out to see if you would be interested in hiring a real estate VA to upscale. Oh. Hi! Ayun! Tama, tama. Ay, sorry. Ayan. Nawala. Hello. Yes. Ay, ganda. Kinakabahan ako. <laughs> ah, back and then. Yan. Nakita mo na ako. I'm clear mm -hmm. and uh, about the sound. It's okay. Mm -hmm. Yan. Recording, actually. <laughs> yeah. Uy, kamusta? Sa... Kamusta? Kamusta? It's nice to see you after that, ano, ah. Side-by-side -side training. Side-by-side mm -hmm. -side training. Oo, oh, na nakatuwa ako doon. Okay lang naman. Uh, mm -hmm. Kamusta naman yun? <laughs> Yeah, okay. Yeah. Actually, ang dami kong... Actually, ang dami kong gusto ang tanong doon. Kaya lang, alam mo na, very short yung ano. Tsaka hirap eh, pag sa chat eh, diba? So, mm. maganda rin. Kaya, kaya maganda rin dito kasi... Hindi rin ako maka-entertain ng question na nakamike kayo kasi baka marinig kayo I know, sa side I know, ko. I know, mm. I know. Oh. Ano, tag dito, by the way, before anything else, maraming salamat. Uh, thank you very much for agreeing no to be... To do a collaboration with none other than Coach Isa. Huh? So, 
Ito nga yung assignment. So, magsisimula na po tayo, ma'am. So, okay. um, before po we start, I would like to uh, introduce po myself. Uh, I am mm -hmm. Joshua Pasamba po. I am a third year college student at, uh, mm -hmm. at Bohol Island State University main campus. So, uh, I am taking up Bachelor of Science in Mechanical Engineering po. So, mm -hmm. yun po, I am from Bohol, Bohol, Philippines. So, uh, my uh, vernacular po talaga na, uh, na language is Bisaya. So, pasensya po mm -hmm. if medyo, you know, yung Tagalog ko po is the straight o kung ano man po. So, <laughs> um, uh, okay lang. Miss Dominique? Hello, kumusta? Ito naman po, okay naman. And um, kaka-off ko lang, galing sa work, kayo pa. Uh, okay lang din, uh, later pa mag-work. <laughs> um, uh, thank you po pala for accepting this. Thank you po sa pag-accept ng invitation to collab with Coach Isa. So, before po tayo mag-start, pakilala ko muna po sa inyo si Rev. Hasid. Hello, Coach Isa, and thank you so much for joining our Rebel Pod Connect. It's my pleasure to have you here. And by the way, we're on air. So, hi ka naman dyan. Hi, everyone. Hi to your viewers. So, yes. there you go. So to start with, this is basically about you and Rabuses, okay? And okay, so magpapakita lang muna po ako. Ako po si Akas Narisa. So ginamit po po dito sa Zoom name is Akas Desi. Yan po yung nickname ko. Yan din po yung ginagamit ko pag nag the training kami with uh, Miss Isa. Okay, so supposedly dapat Hello, good morning. Baba the pin top, please. Thank you. Lakas. Good morning. Hello, and dami ng nagko comment. Nakita ko kanina. So, ayan. Good morning sa inyo. This was supposed to be our trading for tonight, but. Uh, kinakabahan ako kasi baka mamaya ma-traffic kami pa uwi. Kaya sabi ko, um, nagpa-pol ako kaninang umaga kung gusto nyo ba na gawin natin siya mamayang gabi pero mga 10pm or 10am. And thankfully naman, may mga nag-pol sa inyo or may nag-respond <clears throat> nag sa poll and you wanted to be live this morning. So ayan, magla-live tayo today. So by the way, what we are gonna be discussing for our webinar today is project management tools, specifically Trello. But aside from Trello, I would want to show you as well what Azana looks like para in the future, diba? if your clients will be asking you if you know um, how to use Asana, you will say definitely 100% yes. Diba? Kasi you have a background, hindi man ganun ka, Hindi man ganun ka in depth, at least you have an idea of what it looks like, what it does, diba? How it's gonna help you, how it's gonna help your client. So again, we are gonna be discussing two project management tools this morning, Asana and Trello. But first, what is a project uh, project management tool nga ba? Okay, so nilagay ko na siya dyan sa my caption. Ano siya Sa my ano? Magbabasa ka na naman ni... Oh, sige. Wala na tayong plastic na pambasa. May plastic naman sa labas. Okay. Ayan. Commercial. May pa-commercial si Coach JP. Okay. So, um, niligay ko naman dyan yung meaning ng project management tool, di ba? Sa may caption nito, um, ating webinar. So, project management tools, they are a set of software that is designed to help Project teams, ba? project managers, or VAs, clients to plan a project, track, and manage the projects. 
that you want to achieve and define the project goals within the time. So it has due dates, it has diba? it has um yung definition of what you are going to do there. Sometimes it has checklist as well. It also helps team members to collaborate effectively and accelerate the projects to meet the specified constraints. So um, it was made para ma-refrain yung back and forth ng email, especially when you are updating your clients, diba? Instead of you uh, sending them chat every single time na you have an update regarding the project, you, do, you don't have to do that when you have a project management tool, okay? So, I will be sharing my screen with you guys. Actually, students in Revasist are using Trello board. Um, when they uh, uh when they enroll to the program, so that is what it looks like. Or meron na silang idea basically of what Trello looks like. So this is Trello, and if you're gonna ask me between Asana and Trello, kung anong mas bet ko, mas gusto ko yung Trello. First of all, na ano ba tawag? Na ko customize mo yung background, so you can put. Different backgrounds for the uh, different boards. Ayan siya. Okay, so pag gagawa kayo, uh, Trello is free as well. Kaya bet ko din siya. Love na love si Trello. So what you will do is log out lang tayo sa Glit. Okay. Para mas may idea kayo. This is Atlasian. So Trello, Atlasian, log out. Log out of your Atlasian account. Automatic kasi na nakakapag-create na kayo ng Atlasian account kapag meron kayong Trello. So, kasama siya sa paggawa ninyo ng login ninyo. So, this is Trello. Again, meron naman dyan nakalagay. Trello helps teams move work forward. So, you can collaborate. You can manage projects. You can reach new productivity peaks from high rises to the home office. The way your team works is unique accomplished it all with Trello. So again, it's free if you're going to sign up. And they have pictures here showing you what it looks like. Features, so it has boards, it has cards, no code automation, you can integrate work tools na makikita din natin mamaya. So ayan, and they have reviews as well. Okay, so, meron din siyang, kaya meron ganito kasi you can download it if you're using Apple or iPhone, pwede siya. You can also download it kung gumagamit kayo ng, ano, ng, ano ba yan, play, sa Play Store, pwede nyo din siyang ma makuha. Okay? So, what you will do is sign up if you don't have it yet. So, pag clinic natin yung sign up, you will be creating cello board. It's either you can use, um, uh, a separate email you can um integrate it using your gmail na so meron na kayong gmail yun na yung gagamitin ninyo apple id microsoft or you can log in using slack so it really depends on you guys but most of the time what i do is i continue with google lang but since i do have a cello account already dito ko sa login so i'll click the login and then I will click continue with Google para pumasok ako doon sa account ko. So, may diretsyo na rin siya sa Atlasian and then babalik tayo doon sa board na nakita nyo kanina. So, first of, this is the workspaces. So, meron kang different workspaces. You can you can also join workspaces na naka-public. Diba? So, kung wala kang ginagawa sa buhay, pwede kang gumawa ng ganun. So, alimbawa, um, project management, pwede kang humanap ganyan. So, ayan, may mga, alam ko may mga different sa cards. Meron din ako mga cards kasi na may project management. So, pwede kang mag-search. Pero most of the time, there are workspaces na public na pwede mong um, ma-joinan. Okay. Now, let's go na here sa loob. So, balik tayo doon na. So, meron tayong highlights, views. Anong view ba yung gusto mo? Pwede siyang pag ganito, table or not. Diba? Calendar, pwede din. So, depende sa'yo kung anong trip mo. 
um, members, you can invite people to join you in your workspace, di ba? Meron na rin silang mga templates na ready-made for you. So, for example, you are working for sales and support, team management, and meron na siyang mga iba't-ibang template that you can use, copy and use um, as your, um, ano man tawag dyan? Template na gagamitin mo. So, for example, ito, gamit lang tayo ng isa. So, kunwari ito si Emma Trentman. Tignan natin yung kanyang, about this template, meron naman dyan. So, beginning term, ito yung mga makikita nyo. Set up Trello board, set up Dropbox folders, after class, end of term. So, ganyan siya. Okay. Now, since hindi ko naman siya kailangan, if you want to use it, you can use the template. Tapos mapupunta siya sa workspace mo. Or you can find others here na po pwedeng um, magamit ninyo. If you don't really have an idea of what you want your boards or your workspace to look like. So, since may idea naman na ako or meron naman na kami, yun na yung papakita natin sa inyo. Today, okay? So, meron akong um, different workspaces. So, I have here my very own for Revasis. And then, this is template boards for the bootcamp. Pag pumasok yung boot, uh, batch 5 bootcamp training, ito yung magiging workspace nila. And I have a different business with the ones and wonders. So, dyan din sila. Okay, so, sa Coach Isa, pag pumasok sa Coach Isa, I have... Uh, team, five team members currently. So that's Joan, which is my student support, student success partner. Si Pam is my um, editor, copywriter. Lexi is my EA, <laughs> assistant overall. And Joan si Lexi. Lexi, say hi naman to them. Ayan. Aloha. <laughs> So, si Lexi is my overall assistant. Si Anne is my podcast manager slash, slash social media manager slash network manager. Lahat na, bala na kayo dyan. And then, si Dominic. Dom is my video editor. So, that this is what our Trello looks like. So, what happens is when I assign them task, I create a card. So, how do you create a card? You can just click create card here. Tapos, salimbawa, ang task mo kay Joan is to come to work on Saturday at 9 a.m. Kunwari lang ha. Joan, if you're watching this, example lang. So, pwede yun. That's the title of the card already. So, nandito na siya. This is the list under Joan. You can join or other team members that has to see the card. Pwede nyo siyang ilagay dito. So, Pwede nyo siyang i-join dito. So, I will join Joan kasi sa kanya tong card na to. You can create different labels. So, normally for Joan, what I always put uh, for her is proofreading, um, data entry and Trello, and then high priority. If it's a high priority for us, I have to know then, di ba? Tapos, kung mapapansin niyo may label sila na, okay, this pro project is ongoing this project is ongoing this project is ongoing so no matter how many um high priorities i get kahit hindi sila nagbibigay sa akin ng um what do you call this ng heads up kung ano na bang wino work on nila alam ko kung ano yung tinatrabaho nila kasi the labels tells me na okay i'm currently working on this project right now diba ba and then Kapag tapos na sila sa project, they put done, okay? The label done for me to know na, okay, tapos na yung project na yun. Okay, so ganun siya. Now, so balik tayo dun sa example natin. Other things that you can put here is description. So, kunwari, let's just put um, test description. And then you can save it. If you want to highlight something, diba? you can bold. So, ano ba pag bold? Halimbawa, test. Tapos, highlight lang. Control B, it will be bold. Italized. If you want italized, then. 
control I ay nawala italize or if you want underline control U ay ayaw pinapahiya ako ayaw ayaw nga wala pala joke lang pala yun so pwedeng ganyan so at least you know na, okay, this is important because it is bold and then italized for, usually we use it for Tagalog words or probably the title of the um, the topic that we are going to be discussing for that day. Other things that you can put here is dates. So you have due dates. So since sabi ko dito Saturday at 9 a.m., di ba? 4.23, 9.00. AM. And then you can set due date reminder one day before, two hours before, two days before, etc. etc. And then you can save it. Tapos makikita siya dito. Now, if Joan came to work or comes to work tomorrow, I can click this and it's completed. Diba? Um, cover, this is your cover photo for the board. So you can put Unsplash photos here, pwede kayong tumingin. Or you can upload your own. Okay, so, kunwari niya tayo mag-upload ng sarili natin. So, ganyan yung itsura niya sa labas. Okay, so, ganito yung magiging itsura niya. Now, if I don't want the cover, I will just remove it, diba? Remove cover, and then babalik siya sa dati. I can also add checklist. Okay, so for example, Saturday meeting checklist. Add, and then you can create different checklist for Joan to remember. So for example, bring your portfolio. On Saturday, prepare your resume, prepare your presentation. So, once na nakita doon ni Joan, before the time that she comes in on Saturday, she can check kapag na-prepare niya na yung portfolio, na-prepare niya na yung resume, and na-prepare niya na yung presentation. So, pag lumabas tayo dyan, makikita natin na na-check na lahat ni Joan. Okay, if may missing, so kahit hindi ako pumasok sa Trello board, I know that Joan is still missing one checklist from my card. Okay, so you can do that as well. So kunwari kayo ay social media manager, then pwede nyong ilagay dito na um, research about a topic, create graphics, Schedule graphics, ba research hashtags, engage with followers, and then you know what are the things or checklists that you need to finish out of this project. So, pwede niyo yung gawin. Now, another thing is you can move this from one card to another. You can make this a template. You can copy this card, diba? So when you click copy this card, you can copy the checklist, copy the labels, copy the members, or if you want the checklist and the labels lang, you can do that without the members. Or you can move it to different boards. Na recently ko lang nalaman, diba me? So pwede nyo siyang i-move. Instead na sa Coach Isa, pwede nyo siyang ilipat sa ibang workspaces um, position diba you can you can do that as well or pag hindi yun naman kailangan to we can archive the list or delete it so if accidentally na archive you can send it back to the board okay so kunwari na archive ko siya Tapos, hindi na natin siya makikita dito, di ba? Kasi na-archive na. Hala, coach, hindi ko na siya makita. So, you just have to go to show menu. Tapos, andi dito na siya, archive. And then, you can send it back to the board. 
send to the board. So, ganon. Ganon lang siya, okay? Any questions ba so far? Nanya natin. Let's go back. I love Trello. Galing. Zina, Dorothy, good morning. Sherry, good morning. Edwin, good morning. Daddy A, good morning. Uh, there you go. So, that's basically Trello board. What other things that you can do in Trello is you can automate Trello as well. So, for example, I want to automate Trello. I can, ito pa pala. If you want this board to be public or all your, all the boards in your works, uh, workspace, pwede siya. All members of Reva Scholarship. So, yung workspace ko na lahat ng members, pwede makita yung aking shell. Itong card na to, ito yung pipiliin nyo. Or public, so anyone on the internet can can join, di ba? In this board. Okay. So, what else? You can share this board with different people. You can copy link and then send it to them para makapag-join sila sa group na to. Okay. Now, let's go to automation. So, napunta yung phone ko. Pumakita yung phone ko. Teka lang. May ma-add ka ba, May? May sisilipin lang ni sa galit. Guys, if you have questions, just let us know in the comments and then try natin siyang sagutin. Okay. Coach, if free to use si Trello, may mga restrictions din po ba? Um, hindi naman. Actually, yung gamit namin ngayon sa Revas is free to. So, ang alam ko lang, ang restrictions, I, I think, is 10 boards for free lang. For free users. So, 10 boards lang yung... Pero hindi ka naman makakagamit ng more than 10. I don't think you will need more than 10. Not unless you really have, like, personal, professional, does. More than 10 na si client. So, siguro doon pwede. ba? Pero yun, yun yung isa si nakita ko na restriction kapag free yung gamit ninyo. Ayun siya, Desi. Okay, so, uh, let's go back to Trello. Ito na yung automation. So, you can create rules. You can create custom buttons. Okay, for every card, you can create email reports. So, let's go first with the rules. So, may tips na rin dito. So, you can, uh, you can look at this automation tip. So, remove member from the card, add member to the card. So, pwede yan. Add member, ayan, pwede. Or you can create your own rule. Okay, so... Ito yung ginawa ko kanina. I remove ko lang. And then, re-recreate -re natin siya. So, your command doesn't have a trigger yet. Add a trigger. So, ito. You can, when a card is added to blank board. So, when a card is added to the board by me, by anyone. So, pwede nyo create to itong card na to, or yung pinaka gusto ko since mahilig kami sa labels is when the green, oh, punta tayo dun sa done. So, when, a, when the black done label is added to a card by me, so gusto ko yan. So, ilalagay nyo, move the card to the top list of task done. So, alimbawa, okay na ako dito, di ba? Inad ko din yan. Isi-save ko lang siya. So, what happens is, when we go back to Coach Isa, 
So, ito, di ba nakita niya to for video filming siya. If I change this label to done, and I remove the for video filming, mawawala na siya dito. Kasi, lilipat siya dun sa board ko na task done. So, nandi dito na siya. So, it will automatically do it for you. So, hindi mo na siya kailangan na i-move mo from one. Kasi pag mag-move ka sa cello, ganyan eh, ba? So, you don't have to move it manually. If you automate your cello board, it will automatically do it for you. Hindi naman kailangan isa-isa. You can move it from one board to another just like that. So, just simply drag and drop. Drag and drop, drag and drop. Okay? Ano ba tong mga power-ups? Ano tong mga power-ups, coach? So, these are the tools that you can integrate with Trello. So, you can add power-ups. Sometimes it's paid, but they have also free trial. So, you can do that too. You can add crumble, dashboards, yeah. Meron akong add before na time tracker, I think. So, I know kung gano'n ninyo katagal na ginagalaw yung board. I know how how long the students are, um, you know, uh, using the board on its own. I don't think they know or they, they do know. So, mga ganon. You can also integrate your Google Drive so you don't have to drag and drop Diba, the download mo pa from Google Drive, tapos silalagay mo sa cello mo. So, instead of doing that, you can integrate your Google Drive in your cello, cello account. You can integrate your Slack on your cello account. So, madami then You can just simply go here and check kung ano ba yung mga po pwede ninyong magamit. So, but basically, that's about it. Automation, they have board utilities, ayan. So you can do, you can um, uh, integrate all of this um, CRMs or softwares in your Trello account. So coach, gusto ko naman i-change yung um, itsura. So if you want to utilize or personalize your Trello board, you can do it. So most of the time, um, pwede kayong mag-upload ng sarili yung profile but if you don't want to do that you can search here usually ang hinahanap ko motivational quotes so alimbawa ito um, alimbawa I want my VAs to turn their ideas into reality so ayan mag-change na yung background for you guys okay ayan and siya. So you can do that or you can have other pictures as well for yourself. So that's basically Trello. Yan ang itsura ng Trello. May mga questions ba kayo so far before we move on to Asana? Ayan. Questions guys. Wala na? Wala namang question. Okay. So, mag-move na tayo sa Asana ngayon. So, mag-log out muna ako sa Asana. So, this is Asana naman. What Asana is. Diba? So, asana.com. It's a project management tool as well. Some people likes Asana better than Trello. Some likes others as well kasi meron pang different project management tools that you can search online. Ita-type nyo lang sa Google so you can find them. But um, ako mas preferred ko si Trello. Nag, Nag-pricing din. Di ba nag-subscribe din tayo sa Asana, no? Lexi? Yeah. Pero bumalik kami sa Trello kasi mas, mas nagustuhan namin how Trello works. So this is um, Asana. Meron siyang different views. Meron din naman sa Trello nito. So, you can do that in Trello as well. 
Um, nag, meron ding free si Asana pero mas madami atang restriction if it's free. Tapos kapag paid naman, meron din sila. So this is Asana. Now when you log in, so you can log in here. And then um, again, I always love integrating na lang my Google so I don't have to think of another email and password. So log in using your Google account lang. And then it will take you to your workspace or to your um, Asana account. So Asana, it's it looks more professional. You cannot do personalization in Asana. You can just um, inform them kung gusto nyo ba ng dark, gusto nyo ba ng white. So ganun lang yung pag ano, sa kanya. Pag ka-customize sa kanya. So you can customize here, the bow pink, you want pink, you want purple, you want yellow, it really de depends on you. So ganyan yung itsura niya. You will see here all your tasks if you want to see it board like, calendar like, the ba kung ano mga task ko for today, for tomorrow, you can see different files that you attached, the ba? You can see your inboxes, so you will receive notifications if someone um, messaged you or something moved in the in the workspace. You can also check that here in Trello board, so meron din silang notification. The same thing with Asana as well. Uh, meron dito reporting. So, so since we are not using Asana, you will not be able to see it here. You can see reporting here, portfolios, diba? and then goals. So you can do that as well here. Now, um, I have different workspaces here as well. Pero punta tayo dito sa Revisis 2022. So dito, um, the way that I overview it is para siyang ganito course outline. Naka table style siya. So you can check here if it's finished, diba? Or you can uncheck, you can add a signee, kung sino yung, alabawa, selexi. You can add a due date. So, 2022. And then you will know if Lexi is um, ongoing ba sa project na to or not. You can un add another one, diba? Kung ano na bang ginagawa na Lexi dito, diba? So, you can do that as well. Sa loob nito, you can add subtask or checklist. So, pwede ka maglagay ng uh, checklist one. The same thing with cello then. Checklist two, checklist three, or baka mamaya si checklist one for a different person siya in a different due date. So, that you can do that as well. Dito. Ito naman, hindi siya nagagawa sa Trello board. Kasi sa Trello board, kung kanino naka-assign yung card, sa'yo lang din yung checklist. So, hindi mo siya ma-assign sa ibang tao. Okay. But in Asana, you can assign a subtask to a different person. So, if we assign this to a different person, for example, si Pam, diba? pwedeng nakalagay yan dyan. And then, Pam can add subtask under this task. So, ganun siya. And then, you can add collaborators. I added Pam. You can communicate here kung ano na bang progress. Diba? So, you can add descriptions here as well. So, you can add due dates. Add dependencies. So, are you depending on checklist camber? Ganyan. Okay? So, ganun siya. That is... Shello, basically, this is the, again, the list. If it's board-like, ganyan siya. Para, din, para siyang Trello, di ba? So, you can move it, drag and drop then. Pwede siyang timeline, yung view. So, it depends on the due date of your task. Pero since isa lang yung my um, due date, not sure if, if magpapakita siya. So, ayan, may isa kasi na may due date. So, we see here na this task is for 
April 22. Calendar, the same thing. So, we know na itong task na to is 422. Workflow. So, nanito siya. But, it's actually parang automation. But, I didn't build any workflow on Asana kasi nga, we, we stopped using it already. Aside from that, you can have dashboards, messages, and files if you saved any in Asana. So, pwedeng ganon or pwedeng different. The same lang siya, so ganyan din siya. This is how you do it in Asana. So, it really depends on you guys kung saan kayo mas comfortable na gamitin. That's why I suggest na mag-create din kayo ng free account ninyo, both in Trello and Asana. And then, check ninyo kung saan kayo mas madadali at nagamitin. Kung alin dun yung mas comfortable kayo nagamitin. Kasi again, it will definitely help you and your client in the future para hindi na kayo magbaback and forth ng email in updating each other when it comes to a project that is assigned to you. And then, for example, you don't have a client yet right now. So, my challenge for you is to have like a five-day challenge, one-month challenge, di ba? You can set goals for yourself. Ano ba yung gusto mong aralin for the next, you know, two weeks, for the next one week. If you have a book that you want to study, what are the things that you still need to prepare? Baka meron kayong pinag-iipunan, di ba? So, you can create that in your cello board. Actually, it doesn't really have to be or it's not necessarily work-related, di ba? If you can um, have project management tool parang naka-accompany sa personal life ninyo, that's good as well. At least you know at meron kayong, lalo kung makakalimutin kayo na person na kagaya ko. And then of course, notes are important in your cell phone. But most of the time, notes nadadagdagan at nadadagdagan lang siya. So at least here, you can set due dates for yourself. Alam mo sa sarili mo, okay, ito pa yung mga tasks na hindi ko pa na-finish. I'm not yet finished in creating my resume. I'm not yet finished watching the videos of Coach Isa telling me or teaching me how to improve my freelancing website. Kaya pala hindi pa ako nakakahanap ng client because I'm not yet finished in doing all of these tasks. Diba? So you can create a board for yourself, kung ano ba yung gusto mong gawin so that you know how you can improve your freelancing journey. Diba? So, especially if ngayon naghanap kayo ng client, ano pa ba yung mga kulang ninyo? Okay, naaral nyo na ba? Kung, um, so, if you are here watching, I want you to take note of this and you can create your cello board or your asana board and input this as your cello card. Diba? So, number one, who is your target market? Who are the people that you want to help? Diba? Nalagay mo na ba doon? Sino kaya yung mga tao na gusto kong tulungan? Did I research about these people? Why do I want to help these people? What are the problems of these people? Diba? So, you can put it on your card already. At least, nacho-check mo siya. Diba? Nacho-check mo na yung... Um, kumagay yung checklist mo, nalalagay mo na doon. At meron ka na rin notes, di ba? So, meron kang sinusundan na project. I see here, Eunice, can you use Asana or Trello for communication? Definitely. As you can see on the Trello board and Asana, you can leave comments and then you can tag a person to let them know that you are already finished in doing the task or the project that has been assigned to you. So, you can both use them for communication. Para, di ba? Para hindi, ayun nga, yun yung gusto natin. Kaya tayo may mga project management tool para maiwasan natin yung back and forth na email. Okay? So, um, once you're done figuring out who are the people that you're trying to help, the next thing that I want you to know is the skills. What are the skills or the services that I have that I can offer to my client so I can get paid? Diba? Ano yung mga services na kaya yung i-offer? Are you into social media and creating graphics? Or are you a person 
who loves writing and can do copywriting for other people and their businesses. Diba? So, you can explore it, create a board, a checklist for yourself para every day you are productive. You know what you are doing every day. Diba? Hindi kayo parang, if you have a goal and you're not doing it, diba? sabi dun sa TikTok, may understanding natin, it's not good, it's bad. So, if you have something like this, at least you know what, what are the things that I finished for my dream goal to become a freelancer this 2022. Diba? At least na nakocross out nyo, na check out nyo sa checklist ninyo. Okay? Um, I can definitely, siguro mamaya mag-upload ako ng mga boards, um, ideas that you can input there. Sa inyo. Right now, I don't have it thinking lang um, on my head kung ano mga po pwede ninyong magawa doon. But I can definitely do that. Pwede namin isend out at ilagay sa ating group guides para ma- ma- meron maging laman yung inyong mga project management tool. <sighs> Ayan. So basically, that's it. Our webinar for today. I hope you learned something from this video. And if you have any questions, let me know. Meron pa naman tayong ilang minuto para masagot ko yung mga katanungan ninyo. Questions, Lexi. Si Lexi pala yung may question. Wala na ba? Si Gracia is here. Hi, Gracia Cubs. Walina, guys. All good na. All good with everything. Alright, so if you don't have any questions, that's about it for today's video. Again, I will try to upload checklists that you can input on your cello board, but I would highly suggest for you to create one for each. Para alam nyo siya kung paano gagawin and ma-explore nyo pa siya sa sarili ninyo kung ano ba yung mas comfortable kayo na gamitin. If it's cello or asana because it really depends on the preference of the person who is going to use it. Okay? So that's it. And if you are very much familiar with that already, you can input it on the CRMs and softwares that you know how to use on your resume. Alrighty, so that's it, everyone. If you don't have any questions, I would like to invite you again. Batch 5 is still open. We are going to start our uh, lesson on May 2. So if you haven't enrolled yet, enroll na kayo. Thank you so much, everybody, and have a great day. Bye!